I done got the hang of this, y'all. Back with it. Oh. See? Y'all thought I was gonna fall, huh? Nah, 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 nah. Your boy got the hang of it. But what's up, y'all? Back again with another video. Um, today I wanna talk to y'all about why scrolling is the new smoking. And when I say scrolling, y'all know what I mean. Scrolling. Don't that dumb. You know, social media is taking over a whole lot of things, you know. When we think about life, when we think about how people react, when we think about how people date, when we think about how people perceive people, social media is taking an impact on a lot of that. So I want to talk about that today and let y'all know why scrolling is a new smoke. It's taking over y'all lives. So how many of y'all scrolling on social media right now? As you're watching this video, you listening, but you scrolling on social media. You listening, but you on Instagram. You might be watching this on your TV, but you're on Instagram. You might be on Facebook. Like you scrolling. You a scrolling type of, you scrolling. Don't be acting like that, but it's okay because there's nothing wrong with scrolling, but you got to start doing it in moderation, guys. And I had to learn that myself. Like even as a content creator, even though that I'm technically considered a, social media influencer now i don't like being on social media like that like i get on social media to answer messages i get on there for inspiration i get on there for ideas i get on there to share my life but i rarely 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 be look going down my timeline looking at people profiles double tapping like and commenting all the time like I just don't be having time to do that and I realize that that takes away from a lot of the time that I do have. So sometimes we have enough time in the day, but a lot of our time is getting taken up by social media. But I'm gonna help y'all figure out how to stop. I'm gonna help y'all figure out what you can do in order to stop scrolling so much, in order to stop thinking about what social media cares about you and things of that nature, because it's only going to be toxic to you. A lot of times, you know, we don't see social media as being toxic. We don't see scrolling on Instagram and Twitter as being toxic, but you're allowing yourself to get information that you're not open to. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you might be having a great day and then you scroll down your timeline and see something that make you upset. Or you scroll down Twitter and see an article and you go down a deep hole and now you're emotional. Like you're opening yourself up to have your mood switch sometimes whenever you start scrolling. A lot of times if you feel yourself unhappy, if you feel yourself, you know, mood swings all the time or, or things like that, a lot of times they have stuff to do with social media. It has a lot to do with social media. It's either you're scrolling too much or you care about what people think on social media too much. You think that since you're not getting enough likes, people don't like you, you're not fine, you're not sexy, you're not handsome, you know what I'm saying? And that gets to you mentally. I'm gonna tell y'all this. When it comes to social media, the number one thing you can do is limit your time on the app. Take a look at your iPhone, it'll tell you how long you've been on Instagram, how long you've been on Facebook. And if that thing is close to past 50%, 60%, you own that and not in none of the other apps they have listed on there, you might need to fall back a little bit and reevaluate why you're on there so much, especially if you're not an influencer or anything like that. And you don't have to be on there sharing content or you know responding to DMs and stuff like that. You're just on there essentially being nosy. You ain't, you ain't posting nothing, you're just trying to see what's going on. You a scroller and that will take into effect of your life. So limit how much you're on there, whether it's only you're gonna be on social media from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. or you only allow yourself to check social media from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's the only time. Like start putting some control into your social media consumption and usage. Yeah, start doing that. I'm guarantee you'll be nine times out of 10, you'll be more happy. Another thing is when you're scrolling, do you ever see yourself going down this rabbit hole? Y'all know the rabbit hole that I'm talking about, right? It's like you get on there and then you see, let's say TikTok. We all go down rabbit holes on TikTok at 2 a.m. in the morning. You can't sleep. You get on TikTok and you go down this rabbit hole. You start watching ASMR videos and now you're thinking it's going to make you go to sleep. And now I'm speaking personal. But, <laughs> but no, like you go down this rabbit hole of like video after video after video and you just can't stop. Now you on somebody live watching them do something weird. 
you get off that live and you scroll up and you see another live. Now you got to tune into that. Now you're looking at the comments. Now you comment and now you look like you go down this rabbit hole because you're finding social media to be what's the word? You're finding social media to be a crutch. You know what I'm saying? You can't sleep. So you go to social media. You want to laugh. So you go to social media. You want to be nosy. So you go to social media like you're using as that. And the moment that you stop doing that, you ain't going to be scrolling as much. I, I guarantee you, like, think about it. Think about when you get on social media. You know what I'm saying? When, like, if you like, yo, I need to laugh. You don't call up a friend no more. You don't call up, you know, old homeboy, old homegirl that make you laugh. You don't call them up. Or, you know, you having a bad day and you just need, you know, something to pick me up. A lot of times people go on social media, start scrolling, and they find themselves on a motivational page and things like that. That's cool. But you're still enabling yourself to scroll. And the best way to eliminate that is when you're thinking these thoughts, when you're thinking like, oh, I need to be happy. Oh, I need to find motivation. Find other ways than social media to get there. Go get a book. Go to Target. Get you a motivational book. Find you a motivational speaker. Set up a session. Um, if you need a laugh, call up one of your friends to make you laugh. Watch a movie, a comedy. Watch something, you know what I'm saying? To help you get away from scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on Twitter, scrolling on Instagram, and going down that, once again, that rabbit hole that is hard to get out of. And another thing about scrolling on social media is it makes you more nosy. Did y'all realize that? Scrolling makes you more nosy. You know what I'm saying? You are privy to information that you wasn't looking for all the time. You're scrolling and you be like, oh, shoot, such and such got married. You click on such and such page and you go and check their page out, see how long they've been together. You go to the husband or wife page, see that like you just you just being nosy at this point. Go ahead and admit that you nosy. Go ahead. It's OK. It's OK. But if you're not trying to be down this scrolling frenzy and on social media all the time you got to get out of that like if you see something double tap be happy for them don't go down this rabbit hole of checking who the spouse is how long they've been together this and that and like it, it takes a lot of energy and that's what i'm getting to the scrolling and the looking on twitters and the instagrams and all this it, it takes a lot of energy and that energy is getting sucked out of you and you wonder why you're tired you wonder why you're not motivated you wonder why you're not creating you wonder why you're not finding your passion because you're putting too much time energy and effort T, you put too much time, energy, and effort into scrolling and social media. And I guarantee you, the more you kind of take away and control that time, you will have more time to do things for yourself. You will have more time to figure out yourself, figure out what you like, figure out what you need to be doing in your life. Find a purpose, find a passion, find a hobby. You will be able to do that. And then when you find that hobby, then, you know, go on Instagram, find your little community to help with that hobby. You know what I'm saying? If you like cars, build your little car page. Follow some car enthusiasts. If you're trying to build a custom build or something like that, follow that for inspiration. And then now you have a reason to be on there. You're not just scrolling just to scroll. You're on there for a reason. And that's what I'm getting to. Utilize social media to be there on a re for a reason. Be there for a reason. Because the moment you get on there and you just be scrolling just to scroll, you just a scroller. A nosy scroller. And you gonna be on there for a couple of hours. <laughs> That's it for this video. I just wanted to chop it up with y'all about that because I know like social media is taking an impact. And the reason why I made this video is because I've been seeing like a lot of artists and rappers talk about, man, Instagram and social media is making me feel this way and that way. But that's cause they scrolling. They don't gotta be on there. They could, they could have their social media team tweet for them, post an Instagram thing for them. They could do all, they don't got to go on there scrolling. They can delete the app and just leave it up to their media team to do all that. They don't even have to be on it, but they scroll too. Everybody scroll. It's okay, but just limit it. I'll catch y'all next video. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and share if you haven't already. Oh, and subscribe. We trying to get to 100K subscribers, you know what I'm saying? We getting there. We inching. We inching there. And I appreciate all the new folks that have came through, support your boy, comments. Y'all the real MVPs. I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.